Hi there, it's Dave Caro, Continuous Delivery Advocate at Split, and I just want to spend a few minutes giving you a demo of the new Split and Azure DevOps integration. Just a really quick overview, there's two primary capabilities of this integration. One is the ability to connect work items to feature flags. You can create feature flags within work items, and you can associate feature flags within work items. The other key capability is the ability for a release pipeline to have a task which creates a targeting rule for you so that before code gets to an environment, you can have a flag sort of baseline configuration already set for that environment. And you can see how they connect here. Basically, you'd have a work item with a feature flag in it. And if you refer to that work item as part of a pipeline rollout, then the targeting rule enforcement will happen. Really, our goal here is to make it is to make it streamlined, easier to be safer, sort of move fast and more safely and also to be able to achieve continuous delivery uh, practices like trunk-based development, uh, kind of as regular part of your flow. So enough of the slides. I thought I would jump right in and show you this in action, and we're going to use a Pac-Man demo to kind of bring this to life for you. Okay, let's set the stage. You're on a team called the Arcadians, and you create arcade games for online use here, right? And one of the games you're working on right now is called Pac-Man. You may be familiar with Pac-Man. I'm just going to do a quick demo, and then we'll talk about why we have a sprint coming up and what we're going to accomplish, right? So notice they're not really chasing me, right? They're kind of chill. So the, the, the reality is here is that you're running an arcade, and the game's a little too easy to play. Uh, and uh, we want to make it more challenging. We want to be able to collect more of those virtual tokens, right? And so uh, if we look at our, our boards, um, we can see that we've got some tasks set aside. We're calling this the Pac-Man JS Modernizing. And if I, we set up a sprint uh, where um, we've already refactored the JavaScript into modules, and we're going to, during the sprint, we're going to add chase logic to one of the modules. We're going to test that in production, and we're going to release it to users and start counting extra tokens. Before I start this sprint, though, I want to do a one-time thing, which is I want to actually set up my pipelines to take care of me throughout this entire sprint. So I'm going to pause here. We're going to switch to the first chunk of the demo, which is what is this split pipeline task? What does that look like, and how does that work? OK, so we're going to take a minute and do this step here, right? We're going to we're going to uh, enhance our release pipeline with a split task so it can later take care of this creation of a targeting rule for us. And the beauty about a pipeline is it just does what it's supposed to do as many times as you need to commit code, right? It's just going to do the right thing every time. So uh, over, here is my, uh, over here is my pipeline. And uh, I've already built kind of the shell of the pipeline, which is it's got a build stage, and then it deploys to staging. And then if we approve it too, it'll, it'll push all the way to production, and we can do a test in prod. Right? So let's edit this guy. And I put a placeholder in here. Uh, so there's three stages. Remember, there's, there's the build stage, deploy to staging, and then kind of the test and production stage. I'm going to scroll down to deploy to staging, and I've made myself a spot where I want to add a split task. And I'm just going to go over to tasks and type split. Now because I've installed the split integration, it's going to be in there. And uh, I'm going to choose the service connection and workspace. And then I want to choose the staging environment because this is a push the stage, right? We'll see prod in a sec. So notice down here I've got this editable targeting definition. This is the default. And what the default is going to do is set everything to be really safe for, for trunk-based development, which is that it's going to let code get to the server, but it's going to be off for everybody, 100% off, 0% on, nobody in an allow list. It's just going to basically be able to be there, but, but be latent, right? Now I'll click Add. Boom. And so now we have, uh, we've added to the YAML here for that nice split task. So let's move down, though, because we also have a stage where we're going to do test and production, right? And for that, I've already put the task in here. And um, we're going to see what's different about it. The first thing I want to do is show you that even though we've got this sort of custom JSON in here and we've written the YAML ahead of time, I can still click the settings. And boom, I've got my split task on the right. And my custom uh, JSON is over here. So it's not like this is always the default. This thing can be, you can make this anything you want. And that's what's unique about this integration is that we can put highly complex um, targeting definitions if, if we want with, with dynamic configuration, et cetera. What I've done here is, uh, not only do I have an on and off uh, state of the flag, but 
I've created a, a, a allow list in here where if a user is a member of the segment Arcadian Dev, they're always going to have this be on. And you can guess this lets the developers test in production, right? And we can see that's right over here. So we've created our pipeline. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Give it a quick name. I don't know why I'm shouting. Let's hit the caps lock key. Anyway, we're all set to get back to our sprint. So we've done our one-time action to kind of have the pipeline be smart enough to take care of getting us getting code onto the staging server safely and also getting code, if we approve it, all the way to production for testing and production safely. Uh, let's commit this. And then we're ready to go back to the sort of the real work of the sprint, right? So I'll meet you back there in the uh, sprint board where we'll start getting some real work done. Okay, so we're going to jump into the sprint board in just a sec, but let's just remember where we're at. We've already kind of enhanced our, our pipeline, but now we're going to get involved in working on a work item. And what we're hoping to accomplish here is to connect that to a feature flag. So let's just jump right in. So uh, remember, we've already kind of done this step, and now we're going we're gonna to get started with adding us chase logic to radar mode. So I'm going to mark this guy as something we're doing, right? And then actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to go into kind of the full screen version of him just so we have more real estate to work with here. Great. So let's look at what this task entails. It says, as a user, I want the ghost to chase after me so the game is not too easy. When being chased by ghosts, radar will appear at the bottom of the screen. And then let's wrap this feature in a split called Pac-Man Radar Ghost. Okay, so the first thing I want to show is that we can create a flag for split right from within this work item. So I'm going to go over here and click the split tab, which again shows up because I've installed the integration. And then I'm going to say create a split. I'll just paste that name in there and select a traffic type. You can learn more about traffic types on Split's uh, uh, help site, but I'm going to choose user here because we're controlling users, not like whole accounts, and go ahead and create that. And just like that, I've created a feature flag without leaving Azure DevOps, right? So that's the first thing we wanted to do was, was create a flag. Let's uh, go back to our, our other work items, though. There's this release to users and start counting the extra token step. Well, when it's time to do that, we're going to need to know what feature flag we use to do the release to the users, right? So that's really the other part of this cool association of flags is that while I can create flags in here, I can also um, associate an existing flag. So there we go. Now the release task, which we'll do later, uh, has been associated with Pac-Man Radar Ghost. So we've, we've, we've accomplished the step of, of creating a flag and associating a flag. So we're in pretty good shape here. But I'm going to take another really quick break because we're kind of going to switch gears and go in and actually modify, do the, perform the work. You know, we're, we're in the middle of doing this. We're going to go in and do that work, edit the code, and then see what happens with our pipeline when we commit it. So remember, we've already done the pipeline stuff. We've connected to a feature flag, and we're about to make an we're about to get some work done. We're going to edit a file, which is going to cause a pipeline to run, uh, and that'll invoke the targeting rule. Before we go in there, I just want to give you a, a quick idea of what's happening on the other end at split at this point, right? So if we look in split, that feature flag we created, sure enough, is in split. But you notice that no targeting rules have been defined, either for the staging or the production environment, right? So, so we, we've, we've created a flag, we know what it's going to be, it's associated both directions, um, but we don't have targeting rules yet. And that's all about to change the first time that pipeline runs when we edit this ghost.js. Right, so ghost.js is that module uh, that, that this step uh, asks us to edit, which is to add the radar mode. And I've done that now. I've added a new function called move radar, and I'm going to commit that change. And then we're going to watch and see what happens with the pipeline. And this is a really important step here, which is that I need to associate this um, with the task I'm working on, right? And if you had, you know, there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it here. Now, because I'm doing this, now this commit is associated, excuse me, is associated with this task, right? And so that's kind of how the magic works, where we're going to have that linkage between uh, the split and the pipeline. So let's go ahead and commit this. And then let's head over and look at our pipeline.
Okay, I may need to fast forward this just in case it takes a little long, but basically it's going to do that build, then it's going to deploy to staging, and remember it's going to stop between staging and prod and wait for an approval. When we get the deploy to staging completed, I'm going to show you the state of split, which will be a little different, of course, because that initial targeting rule with those defaults for safe trunk dev, dev uh, deploy will have been invoked on the split end. Okay, so as promised, uh, we've done the build, we've done the deploy to staging, and you'll see that we've created the split rules for staging, and we deploy the web app to stage, right? Let's take a look back over at split. I'll just refresh this. Actually, we need to switch over to stage, doo -doo -doo, and then we can see that indeed, we now have targeting rules, right? And there's that on and off and the default of basically being default off and no allow list, right? So boom, first part of the pipeline run did what it's supposed to do. Uh, now, let's take a look here. We're going to go ahead and approve. So let's say we've done a peer review. Um, uh, uh, we've maybe run regression tests and staging or something. Everything's fine. And so we're ready to push this all the way to prod where it's really our most reliable place to test the true functionality. And I'll say ready for testing in prod and approve that. And now what's going to happen is that pipeline, that part of the pipeline, that stage is going to kick off. And remember, it's going to create that uh, that rule in uh, the staging, I'm sorry, the production environment, right? So I'll jump ahead to when this is done. Okay, great. So the, the test in prod uh, part of the pipeline is run. We can see we created the, the split rules uh, for testing and production and, after we, and we deployed the, the web app, right? Um, and if we look uh, in split now, if we um, go over to uh, uh, prod and we refresh this guy, Sure enough, there's our testing and production rules. We're in the prod environment, and we can see the allow list that's have Arcadian Dave is, excuse me, Arcadian Dev uh, has uh, the on treatment, right? And if we look over, we can see that the public still has chill mode, right? But Raj, who's a member of the dev team, he's logged in and he's got radar mode, right? And so we've done it. We've 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 done all the way out to. Uh, production. Now let's just take a quick look at what it's like to play this and uh, that'll kind of lead to what we're going to do next. Okay, you got me pretty quick. They're coming after me, which is the design, but it's kind of aggressive, don't you think? So that might be a little too aggressive. I'll see you in the next section of the demo. Okay, I've got a split screen up here for a reason. Imagine you've kind of fast forwarded to uh, later in the sprint where you're done with all the work and it's just now time to release and the release is underway. And I'm like, that's great, that's awesome. Uh, but you suddenly get a very panicked uh, slack from the product manager saying, hey, something's going wrong. Uh, there's something we don't like what we're seeing in the field or whatever. and and um, you want to very quickly get back to safety where this radar mode goes away. And I want you to watch down here where it says ghost radar, right? So uh, imagine you go into this release test and say, oh, what's the split we were using? Oh, that's right. I can just go over here. I can click the link to the split. Up comes the split UI. I'm just literally one click away from this, the kill switch. And I'll just type kill. And when I hit kill, be watching there where it says ghost radar. Boom, we're back to chill mode, okay? So uh, no war room or incident room, no you know big long decision on how to roll back or whatever, we've just turned it off. And again, that's one of the beauties of gating things with flags is that you can move quickly and there's a little less dust and confusion in the process. So I hope you found this demo of the split integration with Azure DevOps informative and useful. There's another video that actually shows in less than three minutes how to install the integration. And we're always here to have conversations with you about how to move faster, more safely, with more impact. We have something called the Feature Delivery Lifecycle we'll be happy to discuss with you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.